Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mindro Crypto. Today we have Luna Daily Update. We are going to see if we can have any hope. Luna is having a crash of 90%. You already know that. And it found a small buying pressure on the 4 USDT that we had the low back on 17 May 2021. USD is crashing down. Many people are saying that it is being attacked. Okay, and they, we do not know about the future of the stable coins right now because if it is going to happen on USD, what is going to happen on the other stable coins? And this is something concerning for the future. Also, we do not know what the team behind Luna will do right now. What are they going to prepare? Are they going to dump it? Are they going to continue to um, develop it? I'm not so sure about it. I'm not so sure about the next year's even for Luna. Many people were talking about 200 USDT. I'm glad on this channel we were talking about um, that it should be going down. Of course, no one, even me, even no one, I think, but maybe some few uh, could expect a 90% correction in just one week. Okay. But at the same time, this was so depressing. Fortunately, for many people, Luna was minted through NFTs and so on. So um, they didn't lose something. They didn't buy, okay, uh, some Luna, more Luna actually. But uh, for other people that were thinking that it is a great way to accumulate more around here, um, it is quite of depressing. And I'm really, really sorry. I thought that you will just... Um, forget about it or you haven't invested so much on Luna. Okay, so what is going to happen with Luna? We are going to see about the targets. Uh, USD against USDT, you can see that by the time it recovered, um, it fell down. So this is what happened and crashed more. Minus 54% in just four hours. Insane stuff. Um, now it is up again, but no one trusts this anymore. Okay, no one can say Luna could go down to 1 USDT before USD goes up to 1 uh, USD, okay, against USDT, right? This is the story right here. Um, unfortunately, this is the case. And if we go back to Luna against Bitcoin chart, you will realize that for now, I am on the logarithmic scale. That's why you can see this scale so uh, clean. And of course, do not forget when you go to the logarithmic scale to enable the FIBS levels based on log scale. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is 0 0.30031 is one of the most important support levels right here. We almost touched that. Um, it is quite of important to say that we might be having a fake pump towards the upwards, maybe towards the higher levels of around, uh, let's say, this line right here. Okay, we could maybe have a buying pressure around this line or maybe a little bit higher, okay, towards this one, the point 3023.18 or the point 3029.18. 14, we could be having a fake pump. To be honest with you, if I was to have, um, if I would like to spend some of my USDT uh, in any altcoin that has a great risk, could be Luna right now, I will explain why, because it is very, very likely that it can have a fake pump, especially if we close above the 5.72 on the daily and on the weekly frame, especially on the weekly frame, right? Okay, so perhaps this could bring a fake pump towards the 11.72 USDT, but nothing much. Uh, there is, uh, There are so many problems right now that you cannot depend on technical analysis right now at this moment. You can only depend on whether um, we are going to have some positive news about the future of Luna, about the team behind, what they will announce, what they are going to do with this stuff right there, how are they going to handle it, uh, what is USD going to do, what are these stable coins are going to do in the future. We have many questions that need to be answered for now. As you can see, we can close above the 5.70. I'm going to try and make technical analysis out of this. If we can close above below 5.70, we go to 2.80. And if we close below the 2.80, one USDT is the case. All right. Imagine that before one month, we were talking about Luna being at 95. And right now we are talking about Luna being at 5. I mean, this is huge, minus 91% in just one week. Crazy stuff right there, right? And I do not know what can save us right now. I don't know what is going to be the boost of Luna. I do not find how it can recover in the next few weeks, in the next few months. 
I'm not sure about that. Okay, so um, I, I, I'm positively, I, I'm not positive about that. I'm sorry about that, but I'm not positive. Even if we go to 11 USDT, that's it. I do not see any crazy pump going on. And even if it has a fake pump to above levels, then this is just for some um, buyers that have bought around here, around there to, uh, to have the chance to sell. And then we are going to see another dump. Losing minus 90% in just one week is not something recoverable. And the one USDT seems very, very likely to me. Okay, I always want to be truthful about what I'm saying right there, truthful, and I always want to tell the truth because you deserve it, right? Um, but right now I'm not seeing any chances of, of, a, of a recovery. I'm not seeing anything right there. I was uh, uh, saying that yesterday we might be going to 40 baht with the other crash of USD because USD was about to recover here and I was like, oh, okay, maybe we are going to see a recovery, but with the other crash right now, I'm not really sure about the future of Luna. And I want to be honest with you, technical analysis might not apply right now. I'm just trying to figure out some things. For example, 5.70 is indeed the strong support line that if we hold it, we can manage to move upwards. However, if we close below, then the 2.80 will come. And if we close below the 2.80, the one USDT will come. I'm on the logarithmic scale and look at that. If I go to the regular, things are looking devastating. But if I go to the logarithmic, we have more chance into correcting. This is the true scenario right there. And this is what it is for Luna against USDT chart, unfortunately, right? And you can see that we cannot keep going um, right now up. Um, I think that we lost the chance to mainly go up for now. Um, only hope, as I told you, is that if technical analysis applies now, 5.70 should be the support level and then we go up. However, the one USDT could be very easily achieved and Luna could go to one USDT before USD against USDT goes to one. Right, it could be the case, yeah, that uh, we are talking about massive, massive things right now, massive changes into this ecosystem. No one expected this. Many people are totally destroyed right now, and I'm sorry about them. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, if you want to seek any help, I'm here to, with you. Uh, you can send me on Telegram. Be careful about imposters that want to take your money out. Send me about it. Um, if you are having troubles dealing with it, I can understand you. Send me about anything you like. I will be there to reply to you. Of course, um, not, I do not want to take any money. I'm just saying that you can send me out, okay? All right. Um, if you feel despaired about this 90%, because no one is talking about, you know, people that have lost all their money and uh, I want to help. I really want to help dealing with this. Um, if I can by any means to, to you know, just to help you, um, if you're... Uh, uh, just in a, in a despair mode. I know that uh, I know that these things can happen, especially if you've invested uh, so much on Luna, for example, here or here as a long term, and now you're down to five. Um, it is completely devastating. I do not know what else to say. Um, I, I you can you can also join uh, the monthly subscription. Okay, here it is another story. Uh, we are handling these. Uh, we will handle the bearish market perfectly. You can short positions with my personal guidance. Another story for Patreon, but if you want, you can send me uh, personal messages, really. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and see you soon. Bye.